We are gathered here under God and his guiding stars to take this couple towards their destiny. We need d d d no, no. Uh, there is there is so much that I, I feel like I, I want to say to you. I love you. I feel like I, I can't say it often enough or loud enough. You know me. You knew my heart when I was too scared to look inside. I was afraid of what would be there or what wouldn't be there. But you made me look. And what I saw wasn't dark and scary. It was love. You did that for me. You. <laughs> and so I pledge my heart to you. Well, it'll take a lifetime to know that heart. But I want that lifetime. I want to love you. Strong and resilient and fragile. And more forgiving than I deserve. Mm. There's nothing unforgivable from now on. Nothing. And, and if there is, I, I vow to forgive you anyway. Good. <laughs> and I promise I will never take the light out of your eyes again. And if things go bad, I will find my way back to you. Where am I going? I'm not here. I'm with you. I'm not going to shut you down and... You never know. So, okay, so then you'll share? You'll share with me? I will. And talk with me? I will. Long, deep, soulful talks that go on and on and on into yes, the night? I will. How about you and me? We get a little rest. <laughs> no, no, we don't need rest. I don't need rest. I just need you. I need you and your love. And I need to give you my love. All of it, without fear. I promise to love you with no fear and love this child. And I will love you as you grow and change. But then don't, don't change too much because you're perfect. You're crazy. It's gotta be the moonlight. I realized something just now. Hmm. Loving you is who I am. It's my vow to you. Seems like a fine time for the ring. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no I, ring, uh, hey, no ring, huh? Yeah, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Your engagement ring, nice. Yes. I, uh, I, I took it off after the ball, but I held on to it. So, would you like to put it back on my finger? Yeah. It'd be my honor. to you husband and wife. been more wrong? Not possible. Yeah. 
Revenge, marriage just for the sake of inflicting pain? How could we have gone from that to this so quickly? Quickly? And I want you back all along. What are you talking about quickly? Well, you have me. And now I have you. And I also have... Spike. Yes, Spike. Mm. God. I didn't realize that I wasn't ready to say goodbye to him. How could I when I never let myself say hello? Hello. Hmm. Hello. I gotta get a bigger engine for my new boat. Yeah? I wanna get you home. Yes, home. Home sounds perfect. I know with you, I can face anything. You'll never be without me again. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right. Now, tell me to breathe. What's wrong with you? Don't know how to breathe. <laughs> Listen, you are not going to be with me in the delivery room. You're going to be there to... Uh, hey, yes, you are. You're going to be there to, to... You have to create Spike. So, I just want to make sure that you're up for the job. Now, take my hand and tell me to breathe. Breathe. You're saying that like you want to take me in the bedroom and have your way with me again, which we will... We will, we will do that, but you need to say it like, you know, say it like you want me to crank out that kid. Like, go, Kendall. Have that baby. Crank it out. Breathe. All right, that was, that was better. So, where are we going now, my beautiful bride? Your place, my place, Tahiti, Detroit, where do you want to go? I'm not going anywhere with you. Has anything turned up in Lily Montgomery? Given up on your ruggedly handsome husband already? Yes, you are very handsome. Mm -hmm. And yes, rugged. And I just have some things to take care of before we get on with the wedded bliss. Like what? Like Mother and Ryan. Well, good news is I'm going to be right by you, standing right here. It's part of the vows. Yeah, but I should really do this alone, especially the Ryan part. You understand, right? Sure. I'll be happy to hear that you decide to keep the baby. Not so happy that you married me. No, Ryan and I aren't like that anymore. We've been through good, bad, and ugly together. I just, I want a chance to tell him things my way. I understand. Then you guys have history. And you have a baby together. That's really no one else's business but yours and Ryan's. You make it sound so simple. It is simple. Compared to the story you're going to have to tell your mom. Who's going to be first, Erica or Ryan? Actually, neither. To Fusion. I'm going to work tonight? Why? Well, I, I got a message. There was a problem with the body shimmer, and it's got to oh. be on the counter by Monday. And if that's going to happen, I got to get it out by tomorrow. Yeah, that body shimmer. Let oh. somebody else do it. Come well, on. Zach, I would love to, but I've really been out of the loop for a while with things being so crazy. And and now that I'm back and feeling good, I want them to know that I'm stronger than ever. And more beautiful than ever. We're home. We are home. I can't wait to get back in the swing of things and, and just get things going. You really did this. You did it. You gave me me. I could feel it. Take care, Spike. I will. You sure you don't mind? You sure you're cool with me stepping out like this? Yeah, well, I had my heart set on a honeymoon, but uh, Detroit's gonna have to wait. <laughs> yeah. We've all lives ahead of us. 